what's up collective how you guys feeling how y'all doing welcome back those of you that's returning and welcome if you are new and joining us for the first time welcome to the channel be true tarot i'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me you guys thank you so much for rocking and rolling with me thank you for all the likes the comments the shares the subscribes the donations i see it all i greatly appreciate you guys i appreciate all that you do for me Thank you guys so much. Shout outs to those of you that sent super chats, cash apps, memos, sweet emails, sweet comments. Like I said, I see it all. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate y'all. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, shout outs to all the new Patreon members as well. Make sure you guys are staying up to date with that because there will be content posted on there daily as well. Um, but let's get into, today, let's get into uh, today's tea message, all right? This is a collective read. Meaning I'm picking up on multiple energies, multiple situations and storylines. Take only what resonates with you. Leave the rest with somebody else out there, okay? Take only what's for you, okay, collective? All right, y'all know how this go. All right, let's see what's in the energy for y'all. Let's see what messages spirit has for y'all today. I'm going to start off with the tarot and then we'll probably pull from the oracle if I feel called to later on. All right. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful divine collective? What is it that they need to know during this time? What is it that the collective needs to know during this time? Please allow me to see things clearly. Block out any negative energies wanting to interfere with the accuracy of this message. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective out there? What is it that you would like them to know? Please cover show me as I channel this energy. Please and thank you. Let me get three more shuffles for my collective. What is it that they need to know during this time, Holy Spirit? What is in the collective energy? What is it that they need to know? All right, y'all, let's tap in. Let's tap in. Okay, we got the King of Cups that wanted to pop out, right? Look like the King of Cups want to pop out. All right, and we got the Fool in the Reverse. Somebody here that got feelings for you, Collective, may be feeling like a damn fool, okay? <laughs> yeah, we got the King of Cups that wanted to pop out. We'll see if he come back out. I'm sure he probably will. Um, we got the Fool in the Reverse, and then we got the Ten of Wands. So somebody here could be feeling like they did something too quickly, too impulsively. Somebody here could be feeling burdened. Somebody here could be feeling like a damn fool. Somebody here could be feeling like a damn fool, Somebody here could be an Aquarius, okay? Somebody here could have strong Aquarius placements. Collective, you could have strong Aquarius placements. Maybe this person do. Some of you could also be fire signs. You could be an Aries, Leo, or Saggy. You could have strong fire placements in your chart for some of you. But I'm telling you, somebody here feel like they did something impulsively. They feel foolish. Somebody here feel like a damn fool. They feel like a damn fool, okay? Somebody here feel like a fool. Give me something on the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Because they getting karma. And this shit is weighing heavy on somebody. You hear me? Ten of Wands here to the judgment in the reverse. This shit is weighing heavy on somebody. Ten of Wands and the judgment reverse means that something is burdensome. Something's weighing heavy on somebody. Okay, a karmic distorted feminine, the Empress in the reverse. Something is weighing heavy on somebody. Telling you, collective. This is why the Ten of Wands is here to full reverse. Somebody here getting karma, they under judgment. An Empress in the reverse is under judgment. Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Hermit reverse. Somebody here could be a Taurus, um, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Virgo. They could have that in their chart. But somebody here is heavily burdened and weighed down because they under judgment right now. Okay. Collective, whoever you are, you showing up as the Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, okay? So you looking good, you feeling good, you very independent, very self-sufficient and abundant. I feel like somebody here is losing a lot, okay, due to some sort of injustice here. So this could be some sort of spell work backfiring on somebody here as well. But somebody here feels like they losing a lot, okay? Four of Wands in reverse, Judgment reverse, Ten of Wands, Justice reverse. Somebody here may also have legal issues. Somebody here could be feeling very depressed, very down and out, very sad, very blue, okay? 
somebody is in this ten of swords, heavily burdened and weighed down, feeling sad, feeling blue, and and grief, okay, and grief and sorrow because a cycle has closed out. Somebody here that was abusing their power and abusing their authority in some way is now hitting a tower moment. Somebody here could be a tourist. They could have strong tourist placements. But with the tower and the world card here, something is coming to a complete end when it comes to somebody here that was abusing their power and authority, trying to start conflict. So collective, if you had a situation where somebody just, <coughs> excuse me, sorry guys. My nose is itching a lot, I'm channeling. But um, if you guys had a situation where someone was just being a tyrant, being a bully, just doing the absolute fucking most, um, doing something that was unlawful, illegal, something that was unfair, right? Whoever this person is, they having a great fall, okay? This cycle is closing out. Somebody here is under heavy judgment. They're burdened. They weigh down. They know this shit coming to an end. Whoever this person is, they know that this shit is, is they, they know that their time is up. Somebody here know that time is up. All right. I feel like somebody here fighting to the le the very last end of whatever they got going on. But somebody here know their time is up for sure. Tower, the world card. Somebody here know their time up, child. Somebody here is very restless. Whoever this is, this person is very irritable. They're very restless. Okay. Very fucking restless. Somebody here has been fighting tooth and nail about, you know, disturbing you in some way, shape, or form. Somebody here really wants to affect your energy. You are showing up as someone that's independent, someone that's balanced, someone that's happy. And somebody here is working really hard to um, interfere with that. But you still in the calmer waters. You know what I'm saying? You showing up as someone that can't really be affected in any way. You're also showing up as someone that's very happy and manifesting beautiful things in your life, especially when it comes to your abundance, your prosperity, your fortune. Okay, there's something about you being very fortunate, being very prosperous, very abundant, a multitude of great things. All things that are good is coming in a lot, okay, an abundance of all things that are good, including prosperity, of course. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Collective, you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. That's letting me know that you are independent on all levels, emotionally independent, financially independent, financially stable. I mean, you are really doing your thing, standing ten toes down, looking good, smelling good, feeling good. You're showing up as a star. Some of you could be in the public eye or there's a call for you to get out there, put yourself out there. You're somebody that has a light that the world needs. I'm hearing the world needs your light. And it's so funny that I'm, I'm saying that right now and I'm channeling that because I actually saw a meme the other day on Instagram that said that. It said the world needs your light. And collected, that's literally what I just channeled. So the world needs your light, whoever you are. You shine very bright. And it's something about you being world renowned for some of you. But some of you are supposed to be on center stage. You're supposed to be seen and heard. You're supposed to be felt. You're supposed to be healing the masses. You are showing up as a healer, someone that has transformed themselves, someone that has gotten themselves out of a really dark place. And it's like, not only did you heal yourself, but you are supposed, a part of your purpose, a part of your mission is supposed to be healing others, help, well, I should say assisting others on their healing, on their spiritual journey, okay? You're going to be assisting others. Something about you is supposed to be assisting someone. You're supposed to be assisting others. Somebody during this time is keeping their eye on you. They're watching you. Somebody sees how hard you're working. They feel like your hard work is paying off. I feel like somebody here wants to come towards you and say something. Eight of Wands. So, Page of Swords to the Eight of Wands. Somebody here watching, maybe wanting to communicate, wanting to say something. Okay, but we got the magician in reverse, so I don't really trust it. Whoever this is, they're very deceptive. Yeah, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords. The truth is, is that the truth ain't in this person. Somebody here could be a Gemini, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But somebody here may be watching you, wanting to talk to you. Somebody here may even be wanting to befriend you. I wouldn't trust it, okay? I would definitely keep my guards up with this person, you know, keep a safe distance from this person. And definitely don't let your guard down. Don't entertain this person too much. They really ain't, like, they really ain't for you, for real. This person is, uh, they full of shit. This is somebody that's very manipulative. And this is somebody that y'all really don't need to be fucking with like that, for real, for real. Collective, whoever you are, you showing up as someone that's very loving, very nurturing, very giving, very kind, very compassionate. You could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You could be a Gemini. You could have strong Gemini or water in your chart. You could have Aquarius in your chart. I mean, whoever you are, you're a very loving person. You're a very kind and gentle soul is what I'm hearing. All right? And you got, you, you definitely released yourself from some sort of toxicity. 
okay? You're not binded. You're not stuck. You're not trapped. You don't have anxiety. None of that shit. But I feel like this is what somebody was projecting onto you. This is what somebody wanted you to feel. Yeah, somebody here is a liar. They're sneaky. They're a liar. They're deceptive. Somebody here is sending y'all the evil eye. Seven of swords to the five of swords. But they want to pose as a friend, okay? Somebody here wants to pose as a friend, come towards you with some sort of manipulative um, communication here. Somebody here wants to act like they want to team up with you or work together with you or they support you and they like you and, you know, it's, it wasn't me. You know, I didn't have anything to do with it. I love you. I support you. You know, let's stick together. It's like absolutely not. This person is just hoping that they could successfully partner up with you or team up with you in some way and, and possibly have this equal give and take situation. For, for a lot of you, I'm not getting here that this is romantic. Okay, this could even be another woman coming towards you collective and you're a woman. Um, but just take it as it resonates. But this is more so on a business or a friendship basis. Somebody here want to come in and act like they want to do business with you or they want to come in and act like they want to befriend you. Okay, this is somebody that's actually stuck right now in life. This person has been a part of 1111 on the clock as I say that. Some of y'all could be seeing 1111. Your wish fulfillment is coming in while this person is losing every damn thing. Four of Wands, 11-11 in the reverse. So this person's losing everything while your wish fulfillment is coming in. And whoever this is, they wanted to block your wish fulfillment. They wanted to block your manifestations. They wanted to keep you stuck. They wanted to keep you trapped, binded, stagnant. Mm -hmm. That shit has backfired. That's why they under judgment. And now they stuck. Now they stagnant. And it's like whoever this is, they want to send somebody in to befriend you or do business with you. Or this person has the balls to actually do this shit themselves and come towards you and act like they want to partner up with you, be your friend, or do business with you. This person is false. Whatever they plan on coming towards you and saying, this person is full of shit, okay? This is somebody that want to plant some sort of seeds like, oh, hey, girl, let's hang out. Or, you know, be mindful of people just popping up or randomly popping up, wanting to be friends you, wanting to be cool, wanting to even meet up and kick it with you. Absolutely the fuck not. If you feeling iffy about it, you ain't feeling iffy for no reason. I'm telling you, with the Magician Reverse, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Swords, oh, hell no. This is a fuck no. This is somebody that's stuck. They full of shit. They sending you the evil eye. This is somebody that secretly hates you. They secretly very envious and jealous to you this is somebody that's also under judgment for doing some malicious shit behind the scenes and this could have been something just as simple as them sending you the evil eye wishing you ill speaking ill on your life that's a form of black magic as well so whatever this person was doing whether it was gossip slander um or just you know literally doing something for real for real it's like it don't matter it all counts this person does not have your best interest in mind whatsoever this person is actually really jealous because they feel ignored. They feel they don't feel like they're being seen. This is somebody that wants to be seen and heard. It's also giving me the energy of somebody that's a clout chaser. So it's like this person wants to be attached to you in some way because a lot of y'all could actually be in the public eye. Some of y'all are very popular. Some of you could be like influencers. You could be a content creator for some of you. Or this is what you're going into. But it's something here where you're very popular or you're seen as someone that is um, very inspirational, very uplifting, very inspiring in some way. And whoever this person is, they want to have, um, it's like they want to have some bragging rights. They want to be at 1333 on the clock, as I say that. Some of y'all seeing 333. But it's like whoever this person is, they want to be connected to you in some way so that they can have some sort of like bragging rights. Like this person is a fucking bootlicker. They are definitely... Um, just riding yours you know what i'm saying they want to ride your coattail like whoever this is they want to clout chase this person sees that everything in your life is working out in your in your favor and whoever this is they just want to be a part of it it's like i want to work together with you even though i really don't like you like that for real i actually i, I love everything that you do and i love what you stand for but i just hate that it's it's you that's doing it you know that kind of energy but it's like if you can't beat them join them be mindful of this person also you guys need to be mindful of a masculine energy okay the emperor in the reverse could be a man could be a woman could be a woman that's more tapped into her masculine than feminine energy take it as it resonates but you also got an emperor in the reverse here too that wants to come towards you as well somebody here could be an aries a taurus a scorpio a leo or a pisces okay whoever this is they want to make you some offer okay ace of pentacles this person is wanting to tell you that they love you collect 
collective this is not somebody that y'all want to invest in this person is definitely not a divine masculine this is somebody that is inverted this is somebody that's karmic they're distorted this is not your person okay this person could be going through some things they could be unhappy where they are they could be having issues in their living situation issues with somebody that they live with if they live with other people but whoever this is it's like they want to come back towards you no you have two karmic distorted people here you got an empress in the reverse an emperor in the reverse both of these people are under judgment together they both getting their ass whooped together and this emperor in the reverse knows you and this is somebody that wants to come towards you and act like they love you this is somebody that want to profess they love to you collective get the fuck out of here okay this is bullshit now you got the fake love offer so you got like somebody that's wanting to befriend you or do business with you in some way that's full of shit and then you got a masculine here that want to profess they love for you it's all full it's all bullshit these people both of these people are actually just two people from your past that's really bitter these are just two people from your past that's bitter because you winning they bitter because you happy they bitter because you winning they fucking mad they don't want you to be happy they don't want to see you winning these people wanted to see you fall they wanted to see you fail these people do not wish you well at all. But because you not falling, you actually growing, you actually evolving, you elevating, it's like now they want to act like they fuck with you. Uh-uh. Y'all got to be careful here. You got to be careful with this fake-ass love coming from this emperor reverse. And you got to be careful of this distorted karmic woman that's acting like she want to befriend you or, you know, work together with you in some way. It's a fuck no for both of these people. Somebody here is just very fucking egotistical. They're very money hungry. She could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. She could be a Cancer. Okay? Whoever this woman is, she full of shit. I tell you that. She full of shit. Okay? Tell tell her you, you do better working alone. Nah, I'm good. I don't need no new friends. And I don't need to work together with your ass either. Yeah. I'm good. I work better alone. No, no, I don't need no f new friends. I'm telling them you're not accepting any new applications for lovers or friends. Okay? It's a fuck no. Yeah, collective, whoever you are, you showing up as the queen of swords. You could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay? But there's a king of swords in the reverse here as well. That's heartbroken. This person is also somebody that wanted to see you fall, wanted to see you fail. This could have been the main culprit here that was really doing some shit. Because the king of swords in the reverse is a liar. That's a liar. That's somebody that's very manipulative. That's somebody that will really hurt you, okay? For some of you, this can even be people in your family, all right? But these are past people that you know that's trying to jump, jump on a bandwagon. They don't really fuck with you. They just trying to jump on a bandwagon. And this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you really got to watch out for this bitch because this is the type of woman that will, like, ease her way into, into your life and then start asking you for shit. So this is the type of bitch that, uh, you know, makes small talk with you every now and then, make you feel like she give a fuck about you when she really don't. But her plan is to eventually start asking you for shit. Oh, you think I could borrow this? Or you think you could loan me this? Or you think I could? No. This bitch is a fuck no. This King of Swords is a fuck no. This Emperor in the Reverse, this Empress in the Reverse, they all a fuck no. Okay, somebody here could be a Virgo towards a Capricorn, an Aquarius. Somebody here could be a Libra. Um, somebody here could be an Aries, a Leo, a Scorpio, who, or a Pisces. Whoever these people are, it's a fuck no or a Cancer. It's a no. It's a no from all these people. Collective, God has showed you numerous times who really for you and who not. He about to take you to another level in life. He showed you clearly numerous times on numerous occasions Who's your people and who's not? Who's for you and who's not? These people have gave you they ass to kiss multiple times. That's what I'm hearing. They gave you they ass to kiss multiple times. Don't act like you don't remember who these people really are. Don't act like you don't remember how they treated you. They treated you how they really felt about you. Remember that. Don't hold any resentment. Don't wish them ill. Don't be spiteful. Don't seek revenge in any way. Y'all know that, right? Keep moving with integrity. That's what's keeping your blessings coming in. However, do not give people, don't do not give these people access to you. These people are just trying to come back around because it's your season. You winning right now, baby. It's your season. It's a no for these past people. A lot of them know that, but they still want to try their luck. They're very bitter because you're happy. I'm telling you, this is all about your happiness. These people are bitter, they're upset, they're mad because you're happy. This is what this this is what the issue is. You being happy got these motherfuckers like, you know, they, they, they fucked up in the head. These people are really fucked up in the head right now over the fact that you happy. You, you wasn't supposed to be happy. You know what I'm saying? 
you wasn't supposed to be happy. This is not how they planned your life for you, okay? These people predicted your future and planned your life for you, okay? And it's not going according to their plan. They don't like the fact that you're happy, you winning, you being celebrated. Fuck out of here. Who the fuck do you think you are? That's how these people really feel. You know what I'm saying? That's how they really feel. I promise you. you got multiple past people that y'all need to be like, uh, nah, I'm good. If you ain't fucking with them now, you don't need to be fucking with them when you become a millionaire, a billionaire, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just trying to pop up. Some people trying to get in good before your shit really hit. You could be on the brink of success. Like you could be in the beginning stage of the ultimate success, right? Um, and these people just trying to get in now. They trying to get in now so they don't look too sus. They don't want to come in when you make your first meal or when you become a billionaire, right? They don't want to come in then. They see it happening now, so they like, all right, we gonna we gonna come in, we gonna come in now. We gonna act like we give a fuck about the collective before this shit really take off, before this shit really hit. Yeah, God is calling judgment in this situation. These are unstable people, earth energy and everybody. These are unstable people, okay, that don't mean you well. Very manipulative energies, okay? You could be a Gemini. You need to watch out for these people. I told you, some of y'all are air signs that resonate with this message. You could be a Gemini, baby. You could be an Aquarius. And then we had Libra, too. Some of y'all are air signs that this message resonate for. Be mindful of these motherfuckers just wanting to get in good with you. Okay, somebody here could be a Sagittarius that y'all need to stay the fuck away from, okay? You need to stay the hell away from this Sagittarius. Or somebody here got strong Sagittarius placements. You could be an Aries as well, okay, that this message may resonate for. And you could be needing to stay away from a fellow fire sign. Some of y'all definitely need to stay away from, and Sagittarius is fire. Some of y'all need to stay away from fire signs, okay? If this message resonate with you, whoever these people are, they could be Aries, Leo, or Sagis, or they could have that in their chart. But you got somebody that is, like, really restless during this time. This fire sign is Sagittarius, whoever the fuck this is, this person is restless right now. They not willing to accept the fact that you're somebody that's moving forward with your life and you happy. Whoever this person is, they refuse to heal. They refuse to heal. They refuse to transform. You could be a Pisces that this message is resonating for as well. Okay, so we got Gemini, Pisces, Aries, and Aquarius here. You could be any of those signs that this message may resonate for. Those signs could be significant. And somebody here could have been a, a Aries Leo or a Sag that was working against you. Everything is working out in your favor. Will of fortune and upright. Okay? Somebody here needs to know that everything is working out in their favor. Will of fortune and the upright. All right? My income is constantly increasing. This is what's happening to these people that's under judgment. Okay, their money is being affected by this. Their, their karma is attached to their finances. Okay, yes, somebody here is losing a lot. Somebody here could be a Taurus. Somebody here could be a Taurus, a Sagittarius, an Aries, a Leo. Okay, but collective, whoever you are, you need to continue to move forward. And if you feeling fearful in any way, it's like you questioning shit that you shouldn't do to fear. Okay, false evidence appearing real is bullshit. Somebody here wanted to sacrifice you, it's not going down. Somebody here wanted to sacrifice an emperor, it's not going down. Somebody here wanted to sacrifice a high priestess, that's definitely not going down. Emperor, high priestess, whoever you are, you showing up as a great leader. Somebody that is a healer. Somebody here that um, is surrounded by archangels. Somebody here that's anointed. This judgment card shows the anointing. You're literally being crowned, okay? Six of Wands is you being vindicated, being celebrated, having victory and success. You are a high priest. The high priest is you are a great leader, an empress, an empress, okay? Whoever you are, somebody tries to sacrifice you and that was unsuccessful. These people that try to sacrifice you see that you keep elevating, you keep growing, you keep healing, you keep evolving, you keep transmuting dark energy. They mad. You could be a Scorpio that this message may resonate with. Okay, but somebody here is fearful because they did something too impulsively. Somebody here is in fear. Somebody here is scared. Your enemies are shook. And if they still attack you, that's just an illusion that they trying to cast over you as if they going to win something. These people know that they've already lost. They know that their time is up. They know that they under judgment. A lot of these motherfuckers know that their days are numbered. They just keep attacking you because they want you to think that this shit is still going. This shit ain't still going. This shit been over. It's clipped for them. These people are actually nervous. They actually scared. They don't even feel safe. It says, no matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I am safe with the fool in the reverse. They both came out inverted. 
collective whoever you are you need to continue to trust your intuition you straight chilling you're good ten of cups you straight chilling you're good your mind is very powerful don't manifest no bullshit in your life your mind is powerful whatever you think whatever you feel you can create you know that you are a true master magician you are master manifester you a fucking alchemist use your mind your mind is a powerful tool okay motherfuckers is mad some of y'all could be getting new homes congratulations some of you guys could be moving or you could have recently moved congratulations collective all right but you got a lot of peace a lot of stability here everything working out in your favor will of fortune this could be something that's about to happen if it hasn't happened already some of you could also be fasting or there's a call for you to fast it's going to bring you closer to god you know what i'm saying y'all know i speak about that all the time there's something very sacred very powerful and beautiful um and spiritual about fasting it brings you closer to god and also heightens your intuition so some of you could be fasting or you could be getting into like intermittent fasting something like that okay but somebody here that's a false twin was behind attacking y'all as well it, it don't even fucking matter because you got the chariot here you see the truth. Look at this collective, the truth in a chariot. You got the truth about this situation. You got clarity about this person. You got clarity about these people. You got clarity about the what's really going on here, what's, what's really happening in the situation. And so you moving forward, you ain't thinking twice about it. The chariot, cancer energy. You could be a cancer that resonates with this uh, message. And I'm telling you, your road is open. Your pathway is clear. They could have been a Scorpio that was attacking you, okay, or a Capricorn. I told you, you got to watch out for them fucking earth signs. Somebody here is an earth sign that was attacking y'all. I got a strong Capricorn, strong Taurus, okay? We don't have Virgo here, but it could have been a Virgo as well because we had Virgo earlier in the tarot. And I'm telling you, Capricorn, Taurus, okay, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy, all inverted. These motherfuckers is going down. If this is not their sun sign, they got placements like that in their chart. Okay, yup, and we do got Virgo. Told you it was a fucking earth sign. All inverted. We got the Hermit in the reverse. We got Capricorn in reverse. We got the Hierophant in reverse. That's literally Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of y'all had earth signs that was attacking y'all. These motherfuckers losing it all. Somebody here losing it all. You could actually be a Taurus that this message resonate with, and you could have had a fellow earth sign attacking you, or a fire sign, or an Aquarius. Those are the signs that's getting karma here. Okay, y'all know if this message resonate with y'all or not but i just like to call out signs because i know that it's extra confirmation and clarity for some of you guys collective whoever you are you keep winning and you keep coming into money while these people are losing everything you gaining everything you see how the, the wheel has turned we got my income is constantly increasing it's in the reverse and then we got money opportunity in the, in the upright your money is coming in while theirs is being drained Every time they attack you, they put more money in your pockets. I've been saying this shit for the longest. Motherfuckers think I'm just talking out my ass. No. Literally, every time somebody tries to attack me, they literally put more money in my pockets. That shit happens like clockwork. I promise you. I'll get attacked, and the next thing you know, I'll get about five, six, seven clients. Somebody here send me a super chat. Motherfuckers just be sending me memos. It's like the money just coming in and money just coming in. Like, I'm telling you, the more these motherfuckers is attacking you, the more they actually helping you. They don't realize that or they don't want to believe it. These people, their mind is going. The devil got their mind. They don't even understand that this is how this shit is working at this point. You know what I'm saying? So these people are actually working in your favor. You could be a Libra that this message may resonate with. We got Libra and Upright. Told you. You could be an air sign. You could be a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Pisces. You could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Taurus that resonates with this. Okay? But whoever you are, you are an air sign or a water sign for some of you. And there's an earth sign or a fire sign that's attacking y'all. Okay, could have been another air sign, possibly an Aquarius. Whoever this is, they cold. They cold hearted. They don't have no love in their heart. These people are going through a tower moment. God said that these people not really need it on this realm because they constantly attack people. And these people, they have like, um, they're, they're, they're like soulless beings. They're like empty vessels. These people are cold. They are cold hearted. And they're not helping the masses the way that you're showing up in the world. The way you show up in the world is is somebody that's needed these people are showing up in the world as people that's attacking god's chosen god's elect god's favorite you attacking chosen ones you're not needed in this world god don't really fuck with you like that and it's just the truth it is what it is collective whoever you are you need to make sure that you have no fear these people are projecting fear onto you because they are fearful somebody here don't even feel comfortable in their own skin somebody here don't even feel comfortable you know, they don't feel comfortable at all. It says, no matter what happens outside myself, I know that I'm safe. That's in the reverse. These people are scared. They feel like they attacked you. They feel like they did something too impulsive. Some of these people are still continuing to attack you because they want you to have this fear. But it's really what they feel. 
they scared they nervous they know this shit that fine but they want you to be scared and nervous too because they want you to manifest bullshit in your life understand that your mind is a very powerful tool the only way that this shit is going to be successful is if you manifest bullshit into your life you know that whatever you think you can create you literally are a master manifester god has shown you numerous times how this shit work don't let these people fuck with you don't let them get in your head this shit is clear this shit is a no be smart. Use your brain collective. I'm telling you, God already has shown you patterns of how this shit works. That's why I, I easily started to pick up on the money. I'm like, yo, every time motherfuckers attack me, I'm literally able to transmute that dark energy and turn it into prosperity. And I'm like, damn, I got this shit down to a science. Like, motherfuckers is helping me grow for real. So, collective, pay attention to the patterns. Pay attention to what your angels and your and your father, your creator is communicating to you. Every time these motherfuckers attack you, you keep elevating. It Don't get in the way of them attacking you. Nah, don't get in the way of a motherfucker attacking you. I never get in the way of a motherfucker attacking me. I will never get in the way of somebody wanting to attack me. Please, go ahead. I invite you to do so. Continue to do so. You're helping me. I'm elevating. Collective, pure game, free game. I promise you. I'm going to talk to y'all. Peace.